I'm now going to show you a quick example of defining a Siemens S7 1200 PLC for quick and clear simple schematic use. So for this we're going to use the functions and database command and I'm going to define the Siemens PLC. I'm going to go into PLCs and at the moment there's nothing in there so what I'm going to do open up a PDF file I found from uh, Siemens showing the wiring information and I'm going to just control C copy that text and I'm going to define this card here with these inputs. So we don't have to draw any graphics. All you can do is put in there control V the part number and let's just grab that description from there. Control C pop that back in there. <clears throat> so it's the Siemens PLC. And again, the important aspect here in the uh, software is the defined channels, which allows us to say what symbols to use. So the first thing, we're going to define the connection points. So I'm going to actually put in here that we've got a, in uppercase, ground. We've got a 1M and a 2M. And then we've got connection points, point 1, uh, sorry, point 0, point 1, point 2, point 3, and so on, up to point 7. And for each of these, what we can do, especially for the PLCs, is just say the type rather than actually specifying a symbol. So we can have a PLC main symbol with the main power connections and ground. And then for each of the signals, in the uh, list of types of symbol, we've got PLC signal. All we have to do for each of the inputs or outputs, we put in there which connection point it should use. If it's an analog card, it might have several connection points. So in that case, you would click on several connection points. The software will automatically draw the symbols for us. It won't place them for us, unfortunately. So, by default, these will be inputs, but I could also put in here hash SO to say it's an output, or leave it empty if it's an input, or SI. So I'll be specific here and say these are inputs. Control C, Control V to copy those. That's it for the definition. I just need to know the connection points and what, um, what are the power connections and which ones go on each of the channels. Click on OK and close. If I now go to my list of components here. So these are from the parts information. And if I just click on, go down to Siemens. See, I'm already down there, so I'm just going to, as if I hadn't done this, go down to my list and see if I can find this card. Actually, I just need to refresh that because I think it was showing the same cards from before. Siemens, PLC, there's my card, and that's my main card. Place it down on the page. I can see, not particularly exciting, but it's got all the information I really need there. So if I just put in there an address for the first one, maybe a description for the first point on there. So that's got all the address information, and that's my reference card. If I was to now add a new page, click on OK, I can pick one of the inputs from here, and I can say which connection it goes to, maybe it's this one, or equally so, I could go into Functions and Complete, pick the ID, and I can pick any of the available addresses now, or channels from there. And I've got the referencing information down here at the bottom. And I can see that that's showing me the referencing information from there. So very quick and easy. All you have to do is define the connection points and the part number information. And I've got the graphics already in there. Job done.